Sean Jones. I am a young 66 years old. I was born into a fairly comfortable middle-class Jewish family in London. My work life has been pretty much entirely in technology and in information technology. And I worked through a number of jobs um, in systems analysis, in developing systems. And in more recent years, I became involved in public policy work. I've advised politicians and officials in the UK. I've advised politicians in the European Parliament, officials at the Commission, uh, and also had the privilege of traveling and advising politicians in other jurisdictions. And during the course of all of that, my travels have taken me to work in Europe and the Middle East, the Far East. I have found myself in Gibraltar, a jurisdiction that was looking to create a new form of regulation for a totally new technology, which demonstrated one thing to me about Gibraltar, and that is how ambitious it can be, how adventurous it can be, if it wants to be. So my entire adult life has been spent with the European Union uh, at, a, at its heart. I have always felt British, I've always felt European, and I've never felt a conflict between those two identities. I think it's because of that that I had no problem in identifying and identifying proudly with being both British, European, and Gibraltarian and deciding that this was probably going to be my last job and this is where I was going to finish my career and where I was going to live for the rest of my life. I have travelled throughout the world. There are few places where I've been accepted as warmly, I've been welcomed and I've been treated as part of the community without a second thought. There are very few places in the world where I can say that. I think a society which is inclusive, a society which seeks the participation at all levels, a society that um, seeks to be sustainable, not just as some glib uh, environmental statement, but rather one where sustainability lies at the core of everything that we do. These are certainly the factors which immediately gripped my attention. Being transgender, any place and any party that seeks to bring in every member of society, whatever their background, um, is a party that I can feel comfortable with. I think Gibraltar needs to re-establish its conviction in itself. Some of the business models that Gibraltar has had to create for itself at various important times in its history, and certainly in its recent history, um, has made it very robust, very resilient. But today it's become, I feel, too comfortable with itself. And I'm not sure that it's ready to meet some of the challenges which unfortunately are facing the world today. My vision is for a, an enterprising Gibraltar, an outward looking Gibraltar, a Gibraltar that is able to not just capture value from wealth that is brought to this fine jurisdiction, but rather um, one which is able to create value, build new things, and in the world of technology and software, in the world of global markets, this is not a difficult thing for Gibraltar to do. We need to open our eyes and set new horizons. And I believe that Gibraltar has it within itself to do it. It has immense talent that is going underutilized. Why not harness that talent, look outward, create, make, and sell to a global audience?